Hello everybody and welcome to Promise Gaming and more They Are Billions! Because I like it and it's fun and that's all the reason I need. We're gonna try playing on the new map type we unlocked last time, the Desolated Wasteland, which I have attempted several times already and failed every time because it's horrible! It's a horrible map! Terrible place to found a colony. There is a lot of minerals and oil. Okay, great for the late game. However, because it is a desert, there is not much uh, water for fish, and there is not a lot of farmable terrain, which means food is always going to be a struggle, so you're not going to have a very high population to get gold generation. Your only saving grace is that the minerals can be sold off the market for extra gold, and that helps make off your offset. But it's a very slow early game. The biggest problem that I have had with this map type is that the infected are more active. They are sensitive to anything. I don't care if you're using a silent bow and arrow. You shot that zombie, it made a lot of noise, and here comes 50 more. Frankly, I am so very sorely tempted to jump down to a low population, but we're going to stick with what we've got because I don't want to slide backwards, but at this time, I've probably waste, I, I probably wasted about three hours just attempting and restarting and restarting in preparation for the series. So here's hoping we get a really good map. Okay, it doesn't look like a very good map. It's interesting, though. Um, not a lot in the way of open space, but there is a ton of wood, that is to say cacti, so, okay, lots of wood in the early game, some farmable terrain nearby in a safe-ish spot, and a lot of room for hunter's lodges so we can hunt down the javelinas living amongst the cacti. So Which I assume is how that works. Okay, um, let's explore off in these respective directions. I need to find room to build something, because as of right now, this is looking a little on the restrictive side. Where's the zombie wall? What's this? Is that a cactus? I think it's a cactus. I was worried it might be a village of the damned. So in my experience so far, it is not too unusual to have um, zombies uh, and the villages of the doomed, or the damned as I like to call it, really close to your main base. That said, it looks like the zombie wall actually is a fairly safe distance away. This is closed off, which is very good to know. But... Walling off is going to be difficult. Uh, let's grab this resources and then run like hell! Okay, you need to do the same thing. You run up over here. Gotta be cautious. Zombies are gonna be somewhere. You know it. Okay, that's not closed off, so... We'll need to set up a bottleneck over here. Let's find out what else is going on in this direction. Um, wow, more resources I can steal. This is amazing. Okay. Okay, so starting off with a lot of good resources is certainly helpful. This is a small stone patch. It's not really worth placing a quarry. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and place down some housing this way. Uh, maybe a bit more, I guess, since we have the resources. Let's make sure I don't accidentally place on my farming land, though. Okay, that's all I can afford with this much food. We are going to want to have some sawmills... I do want to get some stone, but we can place down a power line this way to do that. So we'll need wood generation. Um, 12 here is pretty good. Kind of hard to say no to 12. I'm going to place right there. And we'll need more food. 8, 10, 10, 10. I need to be careful about the spacing of these. Because that is partly what is going to dictate how many more I can place along the tree line. Or cactus line. I don't know what you want to call it. 13 over here is pretty good. 17 is really good. 18. Yep. We'll just go ahead and take the 18 food right now. Why not? Alright, so you're going to patrol like this. You have found more zombies. You are sort of actually kind of threading a needle here. But I don't feel safe being there for much longer. You have found a really good choke point, but otherwise are wandering into certain death. So let's not do that anymore. Let's try to not die, huh? Okay, you are a little too far forward. We're going to do a patrol pattern like this. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with the soldier at the moment. I guess we'll just station him here until I can figure out what else I want to do. Uh, free food as well. Wow. It's really rare to find this many free resources just sitting around. I love it. Wait, if I place here... I still can place a quarry right there. We can fit one tent in this area, I think. 
A little worried that I'm going to block off some areas that people can walk, but then I realize they can walk over the stone, so that's not actually a problem. Do need workers before I can do anything else, though. No more Tesla Towers, no more expansion. Here come the towers. Good. Okay. So let's see. Where can I place you? How about over here? And I'm trying to think. Do I want to wall this area off early? Would I rather go this direction? There's so much open space. There is some iron over here, which I am going to need if I want to get some early soldiers. Plenty of farmable land down this direction, but I have so many trees nearby. We might be kind of okay. Alright, I'm going to have you guys set up in a patrol pattern kind of around the truck. Alright, let's do this until I can figure out where else I want to go. Uh, we seem to have drawn a bit of attention. I think we're going to need the soldier. You might be okay as is, but I'm going to say probably not. There we go. Drew a bit of attention over here too, did we? Mm -hmm. First mayor, who do we get? Less workers required for sawmills and quarries. Or a free first set of wooden walls and gates, which are already relatively cheap. This is a very good short-term and long-term benefit, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's back you up before you die. Okay. Move forward again. Engage in patrol mode. Yeah, I think the soldiers are going to have to kind of wander around and do pretty much everything. Um, and then if I want to place a quarry here, I can safely place down some housing in this area. I don't think it'll mess anything up too much, as long as we don't let anything through. I'm going to get that early quarry going, in part because I do need some stone to put, place down a soldier center so I can train up some sort of a kill squad. Um, but we're really going to need to claim this area, I think, for housing and urban development. We'll place down a market and a bank, probably really close to the center. You going to be okay there, buddy? Ooh, that was a little close, wasn't it? But you did make it, so as long as you're technically alive, I don't feel too bad for you. Get back to work. Okay, get some housing going. Looking okay-ish. Love to extend this out a bit further. The fact that this area is closed off is a huge advantage. So I'd love to take uh, some extra mills and farms and hunters' lodges and everything else down in that direction. A couple of good choke points along here if I need some early game defenses. My biggest problem is just a lack of space. Otherwise, this is one of the better starts that I have seen thus far. Twelve wood is not enough. Can get twelve more here. We're cutting a little into our farming grounds, though. Let's go for the eight. I kind of need to preserve these areas for farms, I think. I don't see any way around that. This area is not actually cut off. There's one little square to walk through, it looks like. So it's not quite as easily defended, but it's not too bad as a cubbyhole. I mean, it wouldn't take too many resources to actually set up and defend it, would it? I don't think so. Wait for one more delivery of wood, and then we'll have to place down some power, because I've got nothing else. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see what else we got. So we have a really good quarry spot here. Lots of gold just sitting around as well. So this is going to be pretty nice for the minerals. Farming. I don't even know what's up over here. We didn't go very far. But I also don't feel like pressing my luck against the zombie wall. We want to avoid that where possible. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just place the power mill right here. Should be fine. I think people can still walk around. And it's, uh, it's pretty space efficient as far as what I need. It'll do the job. Can get some more tents down. Um... And we will. Do I want to expand out this way first? Probably. Just because it is safe. So right here, for example, so we can place down a Hunter's Lodge right there would probably end up being pretty good. Where else? Where else? We want to place down over here somewhere? Not really. I think I'll save my resources for the moment. 
We do have some more energy, so now I can place down another Hunter's Lodge. So the 10 food over here is pretty good. That works for me. Seven, eight, eight. The spot's not too bad. And then I think we focus again on tents. Okay. About all I can handle at the moment. I don't know. Um, it doesn't seem like a bad start. I'm serious when I say that every time I've attempted this, I usually find the zombie wall is, like, consistently all around right here. Like, there's no room to grow. Not sure what is coded into the uh, map spawn that might change that, but I'm not complaining at all. Um, I would like to just go ahead and place a mill, let's say, right here. I'm just going to go ahead and get some of that extra power generation. I know for a fact I'm going to end up needing it. Okay. All I can afford at the moment. We're actually, you know, despite the fact that we're getting a complete lack of space, we're actually getting a pretty good number of houses up pretty early on. Up to 300 gold generation per day right now. Can you push forward a little bit more? Just kind of buy me some more space. You also push forward a little bit more. Like so. You guys are doing great over here, by the way. Phenomenal job. Love you. Mwah. Could place down another quarry. Don't need that at the moment. We're actually going to get capped out on resources in a moment. Which means it might be a good chance to place down a soldier's center. Where would I place it? Good question. Up over here, maybe? In the corner? I don't know. I kind of want to make this an urban area for markets and banks. It would be better to place it over here. I don't like that spot. Over here, maybe. I feel like we need to expand out a little bit more. Can I place it, like, right over here and still defend it? That is my new question. Because that would be very nice. 16 food. I will take it. Fortunately, it looks like that actually does block this area off, but it's so good. Get another 12 over here. Just trying to think through the spacing. Make sure that I'm not accidentally squandering resource potential. Though I probably already have. Okay, just need the food. Yeah, four stone generation this early on is nice. Until I get a market, though, more quarries will not be of much benefit to me. Uh, we could always place down a warehouse, though. But this wouldn't get me much either. Maybe one, like, down over here or something, but... They take up so much space, I, I just don't think it's very likely to work out. Need 450 gold, you say? Hmm... Okay, well, I can afford to spend at least a bit of gold on some new tents. Let me think. If I want to place down, let's say, another sawmill, 17. Not bad. So right here, for example. So if I were to place some houses along this way... This would be fine, and wouldn't cut into anything. Except potentially for some stone eventually. That bird scared me for a moment, because it's just moving around. Oh, there goes another one. Sometimes that'll happen. It's like, a bird goes vroom, across the map, and it's like, it's a harpy! But it's not a harpy. It was just your imagination, because you got spooked. Alright, soldier center. Yeah, we're just going to place it right here. Out of the way, not close to where I plan on placing down any markets or anything. Start training up some new troops. It will be grand. Uh, we can get a few more houses in right here safely. So I will. Attention. Let's Building. think about this for a second. Where else can I go? We are already using up almost all of the food that I just placed down, which is just telling you how hard this is going to be. Six right here is kind of inconsequential. Nine here is acceptable to me. 
And it's already in a location where we wouldn't be able to place anything else, so I guess why not? Attention. Completed. I don't know, we're fighting for literally everything I can get my hands on. I do need to start research, uh, placing down a wooden workshop at some point soon. Y'all know that's going to end up being very important, and I might want to place it down over here. Again, as long as I can defend it. Let's go. Commander? Which I really hope that I can. This better be good. So I'm going to yeah. go ahead and start moving the patrol pattern in more this direction. Try to clear out just a couple without drawing too much more attention. Okay. Wooden workshop. We'll go right here. We'll start researching our tech. Going to go for some early farms, I think. Markets would be nice, but until we have a population of 200, we're not going to be able to do anything with that. Um, I guess we'll just continue the existing streets here. It's pretty convenient in its location. You're not going to have to lie there. Um, yeah, we have to get a population of 200 to even use a market, so there's not a lot of point in rushing that tech right now, though it will lead to a lot of a gold generation if I find myself getting capped. But that's currently all the food that I have the safest and most immediate access to. Uh, until I start building out the Tessa network somewhere else. So I think this will have to do. Can't get any more food. Let's go ahead and start training up a couple of rangers since we have nothing to do but sit around at the moment. Would like to get a kill squad of at least five before we go too far. I guess I can go for the six food over here. Well, yeah. It's not a lot, but it lets me place down, like, one more tent somewhere. Farm here will be okay. Farm down here will be pretty good. And that's it. That's really all I've got to work with until we clear a lot out. But on the plus side, I've got enough gold and resources that we actually can train up a pretty large group of rangers pretty early on. Ain't half bad. We do want to stockpile our gold, though, so we can start researching farms the second it comes available. So now we sit back and wait. I'm not provoking. Attention. Not drawing attention to myself. Okay? I'm just sitting over here, mind my own business. Trying to start up a civilization, if you don't mind. Okay, so the wooden workshop is going to be done as of right about now. There we go. And we just got enough gold to start researching the farm, so the timing of that was about perfect. Place down one more tent right here, I guess. We need to leave some room for, like, streets so people can move around. So we'll probably leave a gap along over here. Something I always underestimate in my, uh, my zeal to be extremely space efficient is sometimes I just don't leave enough room for my units to uh, maneuver and actually respond quickly to something. Needless to say, that can lead to unmitigated disaster. All right, so we got three at the moment. It's not great, but it's enough to just go ahead and start pushing forward and clearing this area out a little bit. Let's get myself a little bit more breathing room. Especially if it gives me a chance to start walling some areas off, claim large sections of territory. Um, actually, we're not probably going to do any wall-offs over here for a little bit. We're probably going to focus up to the north like I was talking about originally. I still would like to get a little bit of breathing room here, though. Okay. Just to avoid anyone sneaking by and hitting my wooden workshop. Because that would suck. In the sense that it would quite literally be the end of the game. Alright, we're still holding together alright. Farm tech is almost done. Just a little bit more. These little crevices in the ground here, by the way, uh, are impassable terrain. So we could use those to help get some better wall positioning if we wanted to. I am hoping that that is not going to prove necessary, but it's an option. All right, now that we have five, let's move over here. I want to clear this area out and find out what's going on, because if this is a safe-ish pocket that I can make use of, that would be great. Farm. We'll place one up over here for 32 food, because that is literally the best I can get. Boom. Only 32. Not... Great. I'm going to go ahead and research the market. We'll need to start placing down some more houses as soon as we have the food, though. Capped out on stone, which means we are losing out on a lot of potential gold, since we can't sell any of it off. Okay, there are actually a fair number of zombies up here. It will take me a little time to clear it out. 
But again, we're training up a pretty good mobile force pretty early on. So we should have some good clearing potential. Could place down another farm over here. 42, 48. Hey, that's pretty good. All right, let's get that extra farm. Is it a little overkill in the sense that I probably don't need that much food this exact second? Maybe. Or maybe it's brilliant because I'm going to rapidly expand my housing district over here. We definitely want to leave some space for a market and a bank close to the center. Because that's where I'm going to get the most potential bang for my buck. In a very literal way when it comes to the, uh, to the bank. Well, okay, maybe not that literal because it's not literally going to bang. But it's a very, it's a good reference, if you know what I mean. Uh, we also need to get some more power. Let's think about that, too. Let's see. Can't place anything good over there. Could place one right here. Maybe a tiny bit of food potential lost, but... Okay, we're starting to draw the attention of some higher level zombies. And that is one more problem I found on this particular map type. Uh, because all the zombies are so sensitive to any sounds, you tend to draw high-level ones from further away. Heck, I've even had games where I've had harpies already at this stage of the game come charging at me. It's just outright terrifying, as you might imagine. It's like, I'm not equipped to deal with the frickin' harpies! It's like, no one's equipped to deal with a harpy. That's another example, by the way, of the bird scaring me. Just from. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I don't like this right here. This gap is going to suck. The market is done. If I can get a little bit more population, we'll have it. So, let's plan out... It's a couple more houses. This placement is unfortunate because there's no real good place to put some houses without blocking off these in the corner. Still, I think we'll stick with the streets that we've been building thus far. That is almost enough to get me what I'm looking for. I think those two last little uh, tents there might be enough to get me to the 200 population. So we do need to start saving up some gold to place down a market. 400 gold to be precise. That's going to increase my gold generation substantially and then we focus on getting a lot of minerals. Anything left over here? Yes. Nope, this area is now clear. Okay, what about up over here? Wait, is this area actually closed off? Oh, it is. It looks like it's not, because it, it wasn't, sort of, Your but it is now. Needs a mayor. All right, structures return cost means I can delete things and get my resources back um, a little bit better. Usually it's 50%. But increasing the life of all rangers, soldiers, and snipers for the rest of the game seems amazing. So I kind of have to do that. Let's get another Tessa Tower. We're going to claim this area because there's a lot of growth potential there. We are the 200 pops that I'm looking for. So let's place down a market. We're going to do it right over here, I think. And I think a bank is a 3x3 three three, so we can place it right here. Or is the bank a 4x4? Four four? I don't remember. But the market's great. The market is going to preserve a lot of my food consumption. Or rather, it's going to reduce a lot of my food consumption. So our farms will go a lot further. Yeah. Obviously helpful. Um, you actually can probably start off over here and do a patrol like this now. What do you want now? I think. Yeah. Let's go ahead and start clearing out a bit more of the north. Okay, there are a lot over here. Maybe slight mistake. Back up. Um, now we can start really ramping up our generation of stone and so on. Wouldn't mind getting the extra quarry. How are we doing on... F Actually, let's go ahead and place down the wood right here for 17. Again, we can sell the excess wood, and I'd rather have too much wood than too little. There's really no downside to just ramping that up a lot. Good spot for a farm over here, by the way. At least one. So let's go ahead and sneak around this direction, I think. Yeah, we're going to try to clear out the north. I wonder if there's a good bottleneck over here somewhere. If there is, that's so much extra fertile land that I can make use of. But this is still a good spot for a wall. Sounds Just kind of defend myself a little bit. Yeah. Can get a couple of kills there. So there's the market up and running. Uh, what was I looking to do again? All right, quarry. Let's get a stone generation here for... Uh, we probably can start pushing forward a little bit. 
with our Tesla Towers. I want to claim this area soon, too. Did the game just freeze? Are we good? There we go. Scared me for a second there. Okay. Uh, let's see. We actually are doing great on food. What we're lacking is power. And, of course, more population, more gold, and so on. Okay, there's a village of the damned right there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we cannot provoke that any further north than we already are. I'm okay with clearing out a little bit over here, but... Yeah, we're drawing attention. Okay, we're drawing runners. We need to back it up. Let them come to me. Kind of draw them away from the group so that their cries of pain cannot be heard by the rest of the swarm. Uh, we have some people already starting to sneak through over here. Okay. Looking good. You guys are kind of attacking a little farther away than I was expecting you to. Let's see. I could place another Tessa Tower like right here and cover this entire area pretty well. Sorry for the slight pause in my thoughts there. Um, so I have a setting on my computer where once it gets to a certain time of night, uh, it automatically darkens. I really hope that's not showing up in the video. But if everything just turned a yellowish color, that'll be why. Alright, I think I can defend a quarry right here for four iron. And four iron will be great because I need to start training up some soldiers at some point soon. Okay, can we get some more tents? The answer is yes. Build up a couple more over here, staying kind of close. To the, um, to the market. Don't like this. Okay. Getting some really good housing districts going right now. What else should we be doing? So you guys seem to be more or less done. I will wall this off just so I have somebody to technically defend it. And actually, if I can get some gold, I'll go ahead and train up one more ranger just to stand here in this valley and kind of guard it for now. But I need 120 gold for that to work. Well, there we go. Build one. Tesla Tower's done. Let's start pushing over here to the west and see if I can block this area off. Now, I don't know, of course, where the first round of... Um, where are you guys going? I don't know where the first round of zombies are going to go. The first wave, I mean to say. So we need to be rather cautious of that. Seven food here is okay. 18. That's pretty good. Okay. We will need more power. Again, out of gold. Only generating 375 right now. Per day. In addition to whatever surpluses we sell. So let's see. It is day 8. Um, it's going to be at least another 3 or 4 days, I think, until our first wave hits us. I don't need to research anything else yet, though I wouldn't be opposed to having more. Let's see. Let's see just how much space I can make over here. It looks like a fair bit, honestly. Like, this is not a bad spot to place down some walls. Um, alright. Yeah, this can be a pretty safe choke point, I think. We do have some oil relatively close by. That's not exactly helpful until the mid or late game. Okay. So I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. But it's good to know that we have a couple of sources in relatively safe, uh, a relatively safe location. This is fantastic. We can seriously build so much good stuff. If I could just get enough gold to make it all work. Always looking for more money. Is that what my life has come to? I'm always seeking the next cash payout. Oh, probably. Alright, let's get that power going. I'll place it up there, I guess. I don't think it matters too much. Let's make sure we clear that out. 
Clear these guys out. Mm, there's quite a few of them up here. I'll give them that. I hope not we need to back it up because we are drawing a lot of attention again. As seems to be a theme thus far, huh? Wouldn't you say? Yeah? All right. The good news is, though, we'll have a first round of walls. I'm going to have you just kind of stand guard in this location. I really hope that the first zombie wave does not come from the south, because that's going to be one of the hardest places for me to quickly reinforce. If they come from the north, it might also be a little difficult, but not impossible. Gotcha. We've made enough room back here that I think we have a slight chance of making it work. I do need to get some more power right here, so we can block the rest of these areas off, so we will. Um, honestly, I think so far this is okay as long as we don't attract any chasers. If they're just shambling around, so we can handle that. Now, let's see, what else do we want to do? We've got a good amount of food, we've got some power. I think it comes down to just getting, again, more housing. Place something right here, but that would block off a valuable street. But I could also just place one right here instead. I don't think that's going to block off anything that I want. More room. We'll need a little bit more elbow room. Elbow room. Elbow room. You got to get a little bit of elbow room. Anyone else grow watching Schoolhouse Rock? Or am I too old for that now? Or just like I'm aging myself. I grew up watching Schoolhouse Rock. I mean, I know those cartoons came out in what? 70s? 80s? I don't know. Actually, when did they come out? Schoolhouse Rock. Anyway, American History was a fun one to watch, though. I still remember a lot of those songs. Which is kind of crazy to think about. Alright, wall. Oop, there are enemies too close over there. Okay. Well, we'll need to fix that. Get over here. I think that's the guy I need to kill. Okay. And we'll go defend again. You finished training somebody? You did. So we'll have a ranger sitting up over here now. Okay, so we're guarding all of our entrances. This is solid. I would love to push these guys further back and make a little bit more room for a gate here too. But we're definitely drawing more attention than I think I have the time to deal with. So maybe not. I will instead train a soldier, though. I'd like to go ahead and start building a few of them. What do we want to research? Uh, cottages? Maybe. Stone workshop? No, 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 no. Lookout towers for scouting? Maybe. Let's go for the cottage tech, though. I mean, we have a lot more room to expand, so I don't think it's absolutely necessary to do that right now. But when I have an excess of lumber and no real idea what to do with it, and a pretty good amount of food, making some cottages is not the worst choice in the world. Let's see. I could place... No, I can't place like a warehouse or anything over here. That's kind of what I was hoping to do. Well, I guess instead we'll have to just content ourselves building more houses. I'm a little scared to put them too close to the front line, though. A single harpy running through here, get into the housing line, you're done, son. That's it. Nothing left. All over. GG. Thank you for playing. Start over once again. And try not to hate yourself. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. That's what you say. That's what you hear. Okay. So we're about to finish up with a soldier in this area. Um, I think I will keep training soldiers for a little bit. As long as I have the resources for them. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and place another tower right here. We definitely can place down another wall in what I would consider a pretty reasonable location. Let's see. I don't want to place too much more over here. Do I want to place another market in this area? Would this be enough to save myself a lot of food? Would it be worth it is the question I'm trying to ask and ask for myself. I really don't know the answer, though. 18 more wood? Yes, please. I will take. Try to get some more housing going. 
Since this area is safe, we might as well. <sighs> All about that early gold generation, man. Up to 406 per day. Doing pretty well on most other resources, which is very surprising for me at this stage of the game. But we're doing well. I'd like to wall off the north. We have so much to lose here if we mess up at all. So much potentially to lose. Okay, another soldier done. I'll just hold on to you for now. I'm not really sure when I want to place you. Um, let's go ahead and build that wall I was talking about. Right along here. Move the soldier up. We have seemed to attract a little bit of attention, but I think the soldier will end up being able to handle this. A little concerned that the gunshots are going to draw a lot of attention too, but again, as long as it's not too many, we'll be fine. Alright, so you guys now need to move up back over here. I do want to clear off the north. I want to kind of set some ground rules with this village. Wall right here. Wall right here. What do you mean units are under attack? Gosh dang it, guys. What are you doing? Oh, you're just asking to die. Why, why, yeah. why did you run that way? Oh, no. All right, we're going to leave them to sit here and help for a little bit, because I definitely cannot handle that with one soldier. All right. Note to self, pay attention to pathing. Can really work against you. Hmm... Two stone is not a lot. Don't think that area is going to be worth it. I do think we want to think about some more power. So maybe something up there in the corner or something. I don't know. Somewhere out of the way. Somewhere I don't have to think about it anymore because I don't like it. And then tents. Don't go too much further until I figure out exactly what I'm going to do with my farm. Yep, we've got a lot of friends. A lot of buddies. If I can get 700 gold, I'll gladly research the sniper tech a little early. I don't know if this would be early per se, but it's not, it's not too bad. We do need to think about some more Tesla range, though, so I can place the walls. So, like, right over here, maybe. Right over here. If we get attacked from the east or the north, we're going to be in trouble for our first wave. If we get attacked from the west, we'll be okay. Pro probably. I hope. We actually should go ahead and just train up a couple more soldiers to play it safe. Still mostly doing okay, but gosh dang, they just don't stop. They're stubborn, aren't they? Yes, indeed they are. Yes, indeed they are. I'd also like to not have to worry about patrolling this area anymore. Free up the rangers, let them join a kill squad, go do something else. Okay, come on, finish that tower. Thank you. Gonna place... Right here. Wall. Wall, wall. You are stuck. Come on. Come on, dang it. A new task. Roger that. There we go. A little bit of a derp, but okay. I hope you're not wasting my time. Okay, so with them done, then we can place a wall over here. And there are enemies too close to that location, you say. Well, I think we should make sure we get somebody to clear this out. Most soldiers are finishing up now. Training up at least a couple more. Uh, we can afford to upgrade a couple of cottages, so let's go ahead and do some of that. Just to increase our gold generation. So if we finish clearing these guys out, I think to the point where our soldier can handle this once we kill this executive. Yes. All right, so now you guys can move over here. Finally made up for that mistake. It was a bit of a setback. Please kill this guy. Thank you. Okay. Uh, still enemies too close. Oh, it's right there. Couldn't see him around the cliff, because I don't have the x-ray visions. 
You think I am, freaking Superman? Still enemies too close. Okay, well the good news is we have reinforcements, so we'll be okay. Alright. Unleash silent death upon them. Fit. This is a sound that I always imagine a freaking arrow sounds like. Um, what else do we want? Think, 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 think. Uh, we can get some more food now. 42, 46. Alright, 46 right there seems reasonable enough. And then probably some more housing. At least a little bit. I feel like that's gonna have to be good enough. What do you want now? Oh come on, just let me finish the freaking wall. Thank you, got it. Next, I don't have enough gold. Yes. Alright. Be so you sit tight over here now. You again. Found a chaser. Just realized we're not actually protecting this area. We should go ahead and do a quick explore, make sure nothing gotcha. sneaks by. And we're okay as of this moment. Any second now, I'm going to find out that the wave is on its way. And I'll have some idea where to go. Where am I most vulnerable? The south, probably. But I'm also in an okay-ish spot to defend it quickly if I need to. Okay-ish. Getting some more Tesla coverage will allow me to quickly just put up some walls if I need to. Make sure we keep training some soldiers. My bow is ready. I really want to make my way toward these minerals. I mean, that's so much wealth just sitting there waiting for me to just plunder the crud out of it. That would be the dream. Get out of here. I do not want to be paying for an executed tower right now. It costs so freaking much. I mean, could we have saved it until we knew where the wave was coming from and maybe made use of it? Sure, but, I mean... I don't think so. Alright, a little bit more Tesla network here would be fine. A bit more over here would be fine. Looking good, looking good. We don't gain much of anything over here, I guess. Maybe a little bit. I mean, we could place down some more hunting lodges and stuff. This area is looking fine. We can place down a gate here. And I will. There was a single gap right there that I almost did not see. Can you guys get over here, please? Thank you. And they're coming from the south. Okay. Um. Um, 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 um. Okay, hang on. So I need to be able to move these guys down over here. We do have some soldiers. Good thing I was building this. I don't know if they're coming from the southeast or the southwest yet. May not end up mattering. I need to have a patrol pattern still. Guarding this area. So we're about to finish up with this Tesla Tower. Which means we'll be able to build our walls kind of wherever we want to. And of course, the second I pull back, there's somebody attacking this wall. That's fine. We can just do a quick patrol. Two hours, huh? All right, so there's a Tesla. Let's find out where they're coming from, and then we'll place down walls accordingly. Our forces are in danger. Our forces are in danger. No, no, no. We're okay. We're okay. not going to be building too much until I know. I, I mean, I know I have a lot of resources I'm sitting on right now. Again, I don't care as long as I keep stockpiling gold, but... Okay, they're coming from the southwest. Good to know. So, let's place over... Here. And then do exactly this. Right up to our range. There are enemies too close to this location. I don't know if they'll try to break through over here, but let's just make sure it doesn't become an issue, huh? So we're going to push you guys up to the wall. Okay. Honestly, I think this is going to be fine. We're in a pretty good spot to deal with the first wave. Didn't mean to put you there. Okay. 
So good number of rangers, reasonable number of um, gunners. We'll be fine. Let's go ahead and research the sniper tech. And then upgrade. I can't upgrade any more of these because I need more wood. All right. Um, we could potentially get another nine right here. And then enemy is too close to this location. Shouldn't be. We clear this area out. Is there something like right here? If a zombie pops out of the shadows and kills me, I'm going to be very upset. I just want to make sure everyone understands that going in. Alright. Um, we can afford to push forward a little bit more with my Tesla network here. You need to push up over here now. Okay, this could turn into something ugly if we're not careful. Uh, and by I could, I mean it seems like it likely will. Go ahead and start training up an extra soldier. If we need to back up over here, we can. Looks like we need to back up over here. And they destroyed the tower. Because of course they did. We got a little too aggressive with our soldier, and all of a sudden we're being attacked on a flank when I kind of need to be focusing my efforts elsewhere. Okay, now we can pull back over here. We'll worry about the tower later. So I think they're going to stock themselves up right into this corner right over here. Seems the most likely. Let's go ahead and upgrade a few more houses. We're generating 64 wood per day, which is really not too bad. All right, here comes the group. Um, you actually can join the kill squad now. All right, this seems completely manageable. Totally fine. Absolutely okay. I did manage to break through a wall, which is slightly concerning. Uh, given that we had enough coverage here that I didn't think they would break through a single one. So if they're already able to break through walls, I'm definitely in a more precarious position than I think I was expecting to be. Need to make sure I fill this gap. There we go. Okay. Well, let's place down a tower here and here. We'll stuff some soldiers. Actually, better yet, let's go ahead and start training up some snipers. That bird? Freaking birds, man. Building completed. They exist to scare you. It's their entire purpose in life. It brings them such joy. All right. Did I research the stone workshop? I have not. We're going to have to come back to that probably a little bit later. I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I know it was a little bit of a slower start, but we had a lot that we needed to set up and kind of protect this area. But honestly, I think we've taken what could have been a pretty rough start and turned it into something pretty good. So I'm satisfied with the direction that this has gone. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, then I would ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I... We'll see you guys next time.